Hey everybody, it's Kevin Hoagland with Gold Trails, and I am in Citrus Heights, California today at a very good friend of mine's shop, Larry and Big Valley Metal Detectors. And this video is geared to those people that have never bought a metal detector and they're thinking about it and you're looking at used machines. There are tens of thousands of used metal detectors in the marketplace right now. And going out and just buying one because it's got a good price on it, doesn't necessarily mean that you just bought a machine that's going to work for you. The most important thing for you that have never bought a metal detector is simply this. You've got to know what you need. And that's why picking up a phone or dropping by a reputable dealer is one of the most important things that you could do. When you're talking to a dealer, you can always be confident about the detector that you're looking at if you're looking at something used because all of these guys have taken these machines, they've tested them, and if they took it in as a trade-in, believe me, their reputation is on the line. They're gonna hit you with questions like, what do you want to do? What area do you live in? If you're planning on going gold prospecting and your dealer asks you what type of detecting you're going to do, be very specific. You're looking for a machine to go find gold nuggets. If you're thinking about doing coin and relic hunting, be very specific in that. Those are two different types of technology. Gold prospecting machines are made to handle severe mineralization, whereas coin and relic machines are designed to have a lot of, a lot of discrimination capabilities to take out unwanted targets. I know this has been quick and it's been down and dirty, but the most important thing that I really want you to understand is that you don't buy a detector just because of a price. You buy a detector that's going to meet your needs, because if not, where's it gonna end up? It's either gonna end up for sale or it's gonna end up in the closet. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about what you should be looking at and what you should be willing to answer when you're looking for your very, very first detector. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Gold Trails YouTube channel.